Can you please tell us about yourself and your roles in STEAM for All? Hi everyone, I'm Sabrine, Portola High School class of 2022 and Princeton class of 2026. Throughout my time at STEAM for All, I was involved in OC Coder, OC Science, I was the president of All Girls Math Tournament for four years, and I was the co-president of STEAM for All during my senior year of high school. Hi everyone, my name is Pranav. I'm the high school class of 2022 from University High School, as well as the class of 2026 from Harvard College. Um, during my time at STEAM for All, I was involved in OC Science, OC Scholar, piloted the Youth Leadership Program, among others, and my senior year, I was also the STEAM for All Student Council co-president. What inspired you to join STEAM for All? So, I started joining STEAM for All events since I was really young. And one of the main events that stood out to me was the all-girls math tournament. I took a bunch of my friends, and we all participated in the sprint and team rounds. It was just a really fun and exciting experience for me to sort of get my feet wet and start exploring competitive math. So once I grew out of the target age range, I decided to transition from being a participant into being a volunteer so that I could provide those types of experiences to other girls in my community. What inspired me to join STEAM for All was looking up to older volunteers, all of whom who were really passionate and interested in STEAM and also making that STEAM education accessible to a wide variety of students. That's something that was really um, inspiring to me and it motivated me to also join the organization and do that throughout high school as well. What was your initial volunteering experience like? Yeah, so my first volunteering experience was very surreal. I was used to being a participant just a year before. So I was working to create and control the same events that I had participated in. And it was really fulfilling, honestly. I felt the sense of leadership that I, the sense of leadership that I was able to attain through these events was just very fulfilling. I felt that I was contributing back to my community by hosting these same events that I had benefit that I had benefited from so much in previous years. My first volunteering experience was actually quite interesting. I was quite young. I had joined as an eighth grader and working with a lot of other high school volunteers was a little bit intimidating, right? Because I was one of the younger students. But through working with a lot of students, I was able to see that everyone in STEAM for All is incredibly supportive and they want to make sure that you can become the best volunteer possible. So though my initial experience was a bit startling being pretty young, I eventually grew to really enjoy it and enjoy my time with the people that I was volunteering with. What was your most memorable experience when volunteering with STEAM for All? I'd say that one of my most memorable experiences was my first lesson with OC Coder. So I, it was our first round of scratch classes and I was standing in front of 15 to 20 students having to teach completely new lesson material that I had developed just weeks beforehand. So it was a really fun experience. I discovered that I really enjoyed working with kids and being able to inspire this sense of love for coding. And it was a really wonderful experience for me and it helped me understand how much I loved and enjoyed teaching and volunteering. Wait, I forgot the question. What was the question? Uh, the question is, what is one memory that oh, okay. One memory that stands out to me is emceeing and volunteering at the Thanksgiving math tournament. Um, my fellow volunteers, Alex, Kazra, and I were all able to get together and plan this event. We we're able to create slides and create a script and really get students excited about math. But what I remember most about that event was the sense of community with all the other volunteers grading these papers together and planning it, and as well as seeing the excitement on students' faces when they got questions right during the countdown round. That experience was really fulfilling. And even though I was not super, super involved in math in middle school, it made me excited about volunteering in the math circle. What were some lessons you learned from your time in STEAM for All? I'd say the most important is definitely don't be afraid to speak up. Sometimes when it's your first time volunteering in an event, it can be very intimidating to give suggestions in front of senior volunteers, but suggestions from our volunteers are one of the most important things that we use to build and improve upon our events. And I'd say another is you get out of STEAM for All what you invest into this organization. So it's really important to give it your all and really bring your most hardest working attitude towards every single event so that we can make this run as successfully as possible and you can get that sense of fulfillment that you're looking for in volunteering. One lesson that I learned is that uh, commitment and punctuality are really, really important. A lot of people come to STEAM for All and they have a lot of passion, they have a lot of excitement, but over a couple of weeks or months, they don't come to events regularly or they show up late and aren't as invested as they were initially. And so it's really important that you fulfill your commitment to STEAM for All, whatever that commitment may be for you, make sure that you are following through with that. So in other words, make sure that when you're part of this organization, don't lose your STEAM. Yes. How has STEAM for All developed your leadership skills? 
Well, being in charge of around anywhere from 15 to 300 students at a time can be very challenging at times, but it certainly does help you get a head start on developing leadership skills, being able to take charge of larger events, especially such as AMC, Thanksgiving tournament, all girls math tournament. This helps you develop um, being able to think quickly on the fly and make important decisions for the betterment of the entire event. So that's one way that Steam for All has really advanced my own leadership skills, especially in this volunteering sphere. For me, Steam for All has been really pivotal in improving my organizational skills as a leader. Um, as Sabrine mentioned, when you have a very large organization, be it Steam for All or anything else, um, there are many, many people involved and there are a lot of moving parts. You have large events which require the cooperation of volunteers, participants, adult supervisors, etc. And coordinating all these people can be a very, very monumental task. And through leadership at Steam for All, I was able to learn some of the best you know, tips and tricks to be uh, well organized, whether that be through establishing proper communication channels or, you know, properly responding to emails or setting up timelines well in advance of an event. So being part of Steam for All really improved my organizational skills, and that's a skill that I think will definitely be valuable for me, both in college and beyond. Why would you recommend volunteering with Steam for All? Besides the lessons that we've just mentioned that you will get out of your time here at Steam for All, it's just a very rewarding experience. Whether or not you've participated in Steam for All events as a child, the excitement on these kids' faces when you're hosting an event like this for them is very palpable and very fulfilling. So you will be able to communicate your love for any part of STEAM to the broader community, whether it's in Irvine or even abroad in some of our satellite tournaments. So I'd say that's something that's very rare to achieve in any volunteer organization, especially one where you have so much control over the types of events and activities that you're providing. So that's why I joined STEAM for All, and that's why I hope that you all will join as well. Steam for All is an organization that has been around for 15 years now, and what that means for you as a volunteer is that A, you're going to have an incredible network of other volunteers who you can talk to, but also many students who are older than you, who have gone through the volunteering process, whom you can get guidance and ask questions to. This is all really important because when you're choosing what volunteer organization to join, there are plenty of great service organizations that exist out there. But what makes Steam for All unique is the legacy that it has in serving students through science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And that legacy that the organization has translates to the quality of the events, how heard you're going to be in the organization, and how much of an impact you can make. We have over 200 volunteers serving thousands of participants, as Sabrine mentioned, across the world now in our satellites. And if any of that is interesting to you, I would highly recommend that you join Steam for All. There's no other organization like it.